Well, good morning and welcome to another weekly vlog. It's Sunday, we just got back from church. It's, well, actually it's already 12.45. Um, my mom is in town, so she will say hello in a minute and Colin's taking a nap. We are preparing, we're having another football party today, so I'm really looking forward to it. We're having all of our neighbor friends over and just having a big Cowboys football party. The game is at 325, so I think people are gonna come over around three. It's a very warm day, so I think the kids are gonna swim again and it'll be super fun. We were originally planning on having this at one of my other friends' houses this week, but her husband got sick, and so she's like, I don't really think you guys are gonna wanna all be in our space, and I was like, that's totally fine, we can host. So she actually already made a big thing of pulled pork, and so she's just gonna bring that over, and that's what we're gonna serve. So it all kind of works out, although I'm sad that, I'm sad that he's sick. So let me show you kind of what we're up to. We're kind of getting the, the space organized and cleaned up and ready to go. Um, it's gonna be very similar to what we did the last time, which I was recently talking about in a recent vlog. Yes. And that's, I think that's all I have to say. All right, Cooking Kelly. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I've lost my voice. How's everybody doing? We're making chocolate chip cake. Right, Norny? Yeah. How many eggs do we need? Four. How many are in there? Good job, you did it. So they're making a chocolate chip cake for dessert. And then we're also gonna make some buffalo chicken dip for an appetizer. And then I got a whole, all kinds of stuff for a cheese board as well for an appetizer. I'm having a hard time talking. Um, it's all these that we just ran to the grocery store to grab some ingredients since it was a last minute switch over to our house. And I thought these were so cute, um, little stars for the Dallas Cowboys for the um, charcuterie or like cheese board. And I also got these, which sounded really good. They are rosemary and sea salt cashews. I don't actually love cashews too much. I don't like hate them, but they're not my favorite, but I thought that those sounded good to go on the board. And then we have some Fritos scoops for the buffalo chicken dip. And then um, these pretzels also for the charcuterie board. So we're gonna just kind of get to cooking here um, and getting everything going. And we also need to set up the bar, and and Nora is helping. helping. What are you making, sweet angel? I am making cookie. I am making cookie Ch ice cream. Ch chocolate chip cake. Cake. You're making cake. Hey, what did Grammy bring you? A new bike. <laughs> Do you love it? Yes. You've been riding it all the time. That's why you're all sweaty. Even though it's super what hot. What color is your bike? <gasps> and purple. Just like your ribbon and your dress. Oh, Pink and purple. And your shoes. Who doesn't love pink? Riley, how you doing? Good. Yeah. How's everybody else doing? How you doing? Oh, wow. Okay. Feeling charismatic today. No, that was it. <laughs> you getting the pool already? Oh, guess so. Yeah. Let me set you guys up here. Oh, it's it's early after a late night. Um, it's a little after seven, and I'm heading to work out. My mom is supposed to be joining me. She is still asleep. I don't know if I should wake her up or not. We were up really late last night. It was such a fun party. We had such a great time. The game was at like 325, and people didn't leave until 10, maybe later <laughs> and then we had to like you know get the house at least somewhat together put the food away and stuff like that um it was such a fun 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 party we had for appetizers we made this huge really extra long charcuterie board um, with all kinds of cheeses and fruit and nuts and crackers and all kinds of fun stuff and then we also made a buffalo chicken dip which is such a good football party um, appetizer. I'll leave the link to that recipe below. Most people, have, it's the, the recipe is basically the same across the board, but I'll leave the link to mine if you've never made it before. It's so good. If you like buffalo chicken, you would love it. We, you can use tortilla chips to dip in it. Even you can use cucumbers, um, not cucumbers, celery or carrots, but we usually do Fritos scoops. I think they are like perfect. They taste so good with it. People were like, oh, this is so good. And then my friend brought the main meal this time and she brought um baked potatoes and baked sweet potatoes and um, a huge crock pot of pulled pork which is still over here 
And um, so the idea was to load up the baked potato with pulled pork and then she brought all of the toppings. And then one of my friends brought homemade creamed corn with um, two loaves of fresh baked sourdough bread, which was super delicious. And somebody else brought another side. There was so much food. <laughs> there was so much food, but it was a blast. Like we had such a good time. Um, it was so fun for my mom to get to meet all of my friends and neighbors that I'm spending so much time with these days. And we went to church yesterday morning, so she got to meet my peeps at church. It was just a fun, it was really a fun day. So she doesn't leave until like two o'clock this afternoon, I think, one or two, or something around that time frame. So, the, oh, and I also, we also made a um, bunt cake, a chocolate chip bunt cake, the remnants of which are sitting right, I'm looking at them. Um, for dessert and then I had a friend who brought some pumpkin cookies which were delicious so it was all overall it was like so fun and as we were chatting my mom was meeting my friends my mom met my friend Kelsey and my mom was like yeah I grew up the youngest of nine so being in like any social situation is like I'm like good to go and Kelsey was like my mother-in-law is in the middle of nine. My mom was like, no way. And so she called her mother-in-law who lives nearby and her mother-in-law came over. And so she and my mom chatted for a while. It was just like so cute. It was so fun, all the little connections. I'm wanting a hair clip. Um, really a good time. So that was yesterday, today. We're, I think, working out together, but she's not up and I'm leaving in 10 minutes. And, um, and then we'll just hang out for a little bit. And then I do have my babysitter for a few hours this afternoon so I can catch up on orders and work that came in over the weekend. So I'll go in and work for just a few hours this afternoon. Um, and that, that'll be the day. So happy Monday. I need to get this pre-workout because I need like a little kick in the pants. I am tired after hosting such a fun party for so many hours. I'm back from the gym and Nora and I just finished stuffing the uh, envelopes for the birthday party that we're doing this year for Nora and Colin. Yeah, so that's right. So I thought I would show you what we're doing. So we are doing a birthday brunch. Um, and on this one, I've covered up obviously any personal details, but please join us for a birthday brunch to celebrate Colin's second birthday and Nora's fourth birthday. And I designed this on Canva from scratch. I think it's super cute. And then um, it also has a little. Mama. Yes, Colin. Mommy. Okay, hang on. It also has a little card that goes with it um, that says kids are invited to wear their PJs. You want me to hold you? It says every single time. <laughs> you get like 30 seconds. It's like, that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah. I They're like, wait, she's not paying attention to me for these 30 seconds. I need to make sure I get her attention. <laughs> I usually go in my closet. You do? Yeah, I hide there, so if I need to say something. Are you a closet vlogger? I am a closet vlogger. <laughs> well, good morning and happy Tuesday. The day got away from me yesterday, so I don't think I filmed much of anything, but I just got up this morning and worked out, and then when I got home, I grabbed the kids, and we're at the playground, just enjoying this beautiful fall weather. I mean, it's still very warm, but there's a nice breeze, and it's just very pleasant, so... I'm gonna let them play and then I have a little setup here. I have my Kindle, which is very well loved at this stage of the game. And I have a um, body armor, which these are so yummy after a workout. They have some coconut water in them and I do feel like they help hydrate you, but I really just like the taste. So I'm going to hydrate and <laughs> read my book, keep an eye on my kids and just enjoy some outdoor time this morning. Hello guys, it's um, Tuesday night and Riley is putting Colin down. I think Nora's finishing watching a movie and I just washed the sheets. Well, I washed them this morning and then I dried them and now I'm putting our bedding back on. So I figured I would do a little check-in while I kind of fluffed this out. It's time for us to get some new sheets. We have all this beautiful bedding and this beautiful new rug and this beautiful new bed and these sheets are getting ratty. So I've heard of, there's certain brands that I keep hearing little things about online about how great they are. So I need to do a little research, I think, and figure out what I want to go with. Mommy, Here comes Miss Nora. <laughs> 
Oh, and Colin. Colin draws on the wall. On the walls? Yeah. With the pen? Um, I me with that. With the crayon? And this is why I haven't filmed anything today. Because it's 9.45 p.m. and this has been my entire day. I will be right back. I am back. This is why I can't pick up the camera when I... I can. This is why I usually don't pick up the camera when I'm home alone with the kids because it is so challenging. I am finding this particular stage extraordinarily challenging. So we have an almost four-year-old, she will be four next month, and an almost two-year-old, he will be two next month. And both of these stages are really sweet and super fun, but I, they are just hard. I mean, I'm just, I'm just finding these days very, very hard. You know, they say the days are long and the years are short. And that's like very, very true. Um, I, I just feel like it's very full on, like I am fully, full on mothering every single day. I don't know how else to describe it. There are other, there have been other seasons, I'm going to turn the monitors down just for now so you don't pick, pick that up and I just turned the fan off. There are other seasons of motherhood that I've had where there's a lot required of me, but I feel like I can catch my breath during the day sort of thing. I'm just not feeling like that right now. Um, we have also had this lingering cold that I think everyone across the U.S. has had. Like all of my friends and their families have had it. My family out of state has all had it. It's just this sinusy cold that usually morphs into a chesty cough. And uh, it just takes a long time for it to sort of make its way out, or at least it has for us. And so we've got the addition of some level of sickness. Um, I would say I'm probably 85% better. I'm still doing my thing, but I can feel just a little bit of that sinus stuff left. And then our kids, I think, still have a little something. Um, and who knows if it's the same thing that's just been lingering for about four to six weeks. <laughs> Or if we're kind of catching new and different things. Like, I don't know. There's no way to know. Um, but with that, you know, they're extra tired. And so the reason why, I mean, they are never up at 10 p.m. The reason why they're up at 10 p.m. is because it was a requirement this afternoon that we all take naps. Because I was really tired. I had been up all night last night with Colin and both kids were acting very, very grumpy and tired, and Colin was a little bit snotty, and so I thought, let's just all take a nap. Um, so we did this afternoon, which was fantastic, but they both have dropped their naps, and so all those extra hours of sleep that they got this afternoon are now coming back to bite me in the backside because it's 10 o'clock and they won't go to sleep. Good times, good times. So Riley's in there giving it the old dad try um we are obsessed with this comforter it is the most comfortable thing ever i just love the feeling of it it's like this gauze feeling um another reason i haven't wanted to be on the camera is because my skin is just breaking out um i was on this whole regimen from the dermatologist for the past six months and i saw some results but i didn't get the results i was really hoping for so when i went back i told him and he adjusted and changed the oral, oral medication that I'm taking and the topicals that I'm doing. And he said to expect a purge. And so now I'm like, as if I'm not tired enough of dealing with breakouts, now I've got an extra one. So I get very self-conscious about being on camera, um, even though I've been on camera in all variety of ways. So I know it is what it is, but you just don't feel your best, do you, when you have a big breakout situation going on? So anyway, that's kind of the status here. So that's been the past couple of days. <laughs> it's been really just a lot. Um, it's been challenging. I'm gonna see if I can just sit. Oh, this is comfy. Sit on this big duvet cover here and chat for a couple minutes. So that's kind of the story. I mean, I'm so grateful to be a mom, love my kids. And like I said, their stages are actually super, super fun right now, but it, it's 
I've found the days more challenging than not lately. And I think it's a combination of a lot of things, adjusting to the fall schedule and routine for our family, this lingering sickness that's going on. Um, both of them at the ages that they are, are starting to sort of need and demand more during the day. Um, they want more kind of input, so to speak. And so I don't know. There's probably a lot of different reasons that all kind of go together, but it wasn't a terrible day. It was just a hard one, and hopefully they'll go to bed soon, and maybe because they're going to bed later, they'll sleep in, but probably not. So my big task today was tackling our laundry. We This really very rarely, I mean, I want to say almost never happens because we are really, really good about staying on top of laundry actually really enjoy doing laundry. It's probably my favorite chore, so it's one of the only ones that doesn't get as behind. Rarely, if ever, but it was super behind. So we had like three or four huge laundry baskets sitting all around our bedroom that were piled high full of clean clothes that were just sitting there getting wrinkled that needed to be folded. Now normally I just open up the dryer and I fold things right out of the dryer. Um, once they, they've cooled down, I just fold them right out of the dryer so that that doesn't happen, but I didn't do that. And then we had at least four to five loads worth also piled up in on the floor of the laundry room, which is problematic because it's also like our mud room that we used to go in and out of the house. So it was just so much laundry. My mom was here over the weekend and she was like, Blair, this is a lot of laundry. I'm like, I know mom, I've really, I really got to tackle it. So I tackled it today. So that was great. I folded probably eight loads and I did, we already had like the three or four loads that were done and then I did at least another three or four or five and I have another one in the laundry, in the washing machine. Um, it was just time to do all of the towels, all of the rags, all of the sheets, um, the guest room sheets, the guest room towels, all of our clothes, all of the kids' clothes. We're kind of in this weird time of year right now because sometimes it's like fine to be wearing a lightweight sweatshirt or like long sleeves or something like that. And then sometimes it's still very much summer weather. And then sometimes in the early mornings, it's pretty chilly. And so I feel like we're just using all of our clothing. I also need to do a clothing purge um, very much. I, I don't really for myself really need to, but for the kids, like I keep pulling out, most moms get to this point. I think we can all relate. Like I've talked to my friends about this. You get to the point where you're like putting away laundry or pulling out laundry and you feel like it's like all these clothes that don't fit your kids anymore. And so it's time for me to go through everything, donate all the stuff that doesn't fit and, um, figure out what holes there are in their wardrobe as we move into a new season that I need to buy for. Um, and then I can go ahead and do that and then we'll be like set and good to go. So that is a summation of my day. We've got breakouts, difficult motherhood days, a little bit of sickness, a lot of exhaustion, kids that won't go to sleep and so much laundry. Well, good morning and happy Wednesday. I just got off the phone with my sister. Um, she and I are having similarly challenging motherhood days, weeks <laughs> right now. Um, she's super pregnant with her third baby who is due in late November and just chasing after her older two and it's just a lot. It's just a lot. I just cleaned up the kitchen so it's nice and reset and I'm sorry for all the wobbling around. I'm just going to set you here for a second. Um, today's been, it's actually been okay. A lot better than yesterday. Um, so this morning, um, I went across the street to my friend and neighbor's house because she was hanging wallpaper in her playroom. And so I was helping her, I went over there and the kids played and I helped her with that for a little bit. And then our other friend, Kelsey, who also is a neighbor, stopped by. And so then Kelsey's daughter and Nora were playing really well together. So I took Kelsey's daughter home here with me and then they were playing for a while. And then Kelsey's husband came and picked the daughter up and now I'm back to just me and my kids. But it's been like, it's been good though because you know, it's one o'clock now, our babysitter's coming in the next hour. Um, and it just helps the day go by when you're with other people, you know? I think it makes everybody a little bit happier. Um, so I just bought this for um, a birthday gift. So Rachel, the one who I was just at her house hanging the uh, playroom wallpaper, 
her son has a birthday this Saturday, and um, she rented out a movie theater at the local theater to see the Paw Patrol movie. And so that will be both of our fir our kids' first times going into a movie theater. It's the perfect perfect environment for that because it will be a private theater for just her friends and family for that birthday party. And so if they can't sit still or run around or are loud or whatever, like it's totally fine because it's a private theater. I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, I think it'll be super fun. But I was trying to think of a gift to get him that wouldn't be just like toy clutter. And this is this VTech camera. Truth be told, I am not a fan of VTech. Most of their stuff makes so much noise. All done, you can throw it away. Um, he's standing right here. Most of their stuff just makes so much noise and beeps and sings and it just drives me completely nuts. We've gotten a lot of VTech things over the years that have been sold or given away. No more. But this is one of them. This is for Truman for his birthday. He's gonna get a blue one like you. All that to say, I'm not a huge fan of VTech, but this is the only VTech toy that I actually really love. My parents gave one of these to Nora for Christmas last year, the year before, and another one to Henry, who's Nora's cousin of the same age. And they absolutely love them because they see us using our phones to take pictures all of the time. And I don't know about your toddlers, but Nora asks me all the time if she can borrow my phone to take pictures. Well, this is like a little digital camera. So when they take a picture, the picture shows up on here and um, it's very, very easy to use and super fun for her to get to look through the pictures. And we've never done this, but you can actually like plug it into the computer or the laptop or whatever and like get the photos that they've taken off if you would wanna do that. But for her, it's more the fun of like taking photos alongside mom and dad. So anyway, we got him this. Um, if you're looking for a, I think this is a pretty good non-clutter birthday gift idea. more. I think this is a pretty good clutter free gift because it's just one small piece and um, it's a great thing to take to restaurants where they can take pictures around the restaurant when they need to, you know so whatever we just really love it so I will link it below it's just off of Amazon it's about 25 24 bucks um, which is typically about what we like to spend on birthday gifts and it even has a video camera. It has There's all kinds of things you can do with it, but Nora just really enjoys just taking the pictures. So I'm gonna wrap this for him for this coming Saturday. Um, I'm gonna put it up here for now because we don't need to be getting into that, but Nora's is sitting out here because she plays with it literally every day. She loves it. Okay, I'm gonna go sit with them, but I just wanted to say good morning. We've been up and about and we got a birthday gift. Um, that would be, I think, a good Christmas gift, birthday gift if you're looking mama, for one. Mama. You want more what? Want more gum. You want more gummies? Yeah. No, Bubba. No, but more gum. More gummies? Yeah. Want more gum. Always more gummies. Mama. Well, hello everyone. It's been a couple of hours. Our babysitter is at home with the kids and I actually was able to sneak over to my office yesterday and get all of my open orders packaged up. So I don't have any orders to package and I'm sort of in a lull between waiting on some final designs from Riley to get the Christmas line launched. Anyway, I'm at Target. <laughs> I really needed a break. Like I really needed a true break, not a work break, but an actual break. So I do have that mattress protector that I was talking about a couple weeks ago to return. And then I'm just going to walk around and shop. I do need to get some of the kids some fall um, clothing, some, you know, the next size up in leggings and pants and t-shirts and things like that for them to wear for the fall. And maybe a couple of pairs of shoes each. So I'm going to go take a look, but Honestly, really the point is just to take a mental breather out of the house by myself. Um, I really want to get a Starbucks because this Target has a Starbucks. I think all tar Targets have Starbucks in them now, don't they? Um, I really want to get one, but I don't need the caffeine. So I might do a decaf something or other because um, it's already 3 o'clock. I don't want to have a caffeine at this time of day. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'll show you what I get. So we've got Halloween pajamas string bikinis and winter gear all within a 10 foot radius. <laughs>
Okay, I found five pairs of leggings. Um, I love these Cat and Jack leggings for Nora. They fit her super well and they're just comfy and easy to wear. So I found five pairs of leggings and now I'd like to get about five just easy cotton shirts and those will be sort of her play clothes for this fall and winter. And then I'd like to pick out a couple of other pieces that will be good for going to church or just like, you know, things like that that aren't necessarily just quite so casual. So I still need to look around a little bit. This is just darling. So here's where I am. So for Colin, I've gotten him um, four just like cotton long sleeve t-shirts and then he's obsessed with dinosaurs right now. And I love him in a little sweatsuit, a little matching sweatsuit. It like melts my heart. So I got him this little dinosaur green one. He looks really good in this color green as well. And then for Nora, I got all of those leggings that I showed you. And then I just picked out four tops. They really didn't have, I was looking for like solid tops and I could only find a couple. I'm not really obsessed with any of these, but they'll do fine to get us started for the cooler weather that is coming. So I've gotten them those. I don't need any PJs, but these are cute. But I don't need any. They're plenty. Um, there's actually not as much here as I kind of thought there would be. Colin in something like this would be so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Kali. Might have to see. Is this a dinosaur I see? Oh, I might need to take a look at these little sweaters. I'm leaning towards putting in Colin's room two twin beds and like a navy blue quilt with these sheets on two little twin beds would be so stinking cute. I feel like the price is really reasonable too, 15 bucks for a sheet set. I love that. I need to keep an eye on that, make sure it doesn't go out of stock before we go ahead and get those twin beds in his room. But I think that would be a good use of this space and create extra, extra, you know, beds for when we have guests. Yeah, like just something like this, although probably more navy. This is sort of like a mid-tone blue. Um, I think that would be super, super cute. Okay, so I picked up one of these containers for Charlie's treats. So you pop it and then that's that. I um, got some toothbrushes for me and the kids. These are for my car, Windex wipes and just like cleaning wipes. These are just a fun little treat for the kids. Some candy buckets for Halloween. I already showed you the clothes I got. My parents' anniversary, wedding anniversary is coming up. So I got them this cute card. Love these whenever I'm gonna have an energy drink. This is my favorite one, it's like caramel apple. I think that's everything. I popped over here to Old Navy because I did not find as much as I had been hoping to find um, for the kids for fall. So I'm gonna see if I can fill in some of the gaps here in Old Navy. Okay. I have you sitting in one of my laundry cabinets. And I wanted to show you what I got from, um, you already saw what I got from Target because I was showing you as I went, but there was one thing that I got on the way out that I'll show you here. And then I also popped into Old Navy and I ended up finding quite a few things at really good prices in there. And then TJ Maxx, and I also found tons of stuff in there. So it's a fun haul day for me. Um, so I'm going to try this Kristen S. leave-in conditioner. I like to use a leave-in conditioner to sort of brush through and detangle um, my hair when I get out of the shower. And um, it smells really good. I did smell it in the store. Yes, I really like that scent. I wonder if it says, it doesn't say what the scent is, but I'm going to give that a shot because I needed more and it was right there. Okay, so let's start with Old Navy since that's the last place I was chatting with you guys from. Um, so I found just so many things, um, mostly for Nora, and then I got two things for myself. Oh, and one thing for Colin. So we'll start with, <laughs> this is something I would never normally buy except for that um, we are going to a Paw Patrol birthday party this Saturday, so I got the kids matching Paw Patrol shirts. This isn't really my number one vibe, but 
I thought it was super cute for the party. So they can just both wear like little shorts or something and have those. They'll be super excited when I show them. Um, and then for Nora, I got her a solid black long sleeve t-shirt, a sort of muted dusty pink long sleeve t-shirt. These were on sale for $6, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, and those will mix and match well with those leggings that I got her. This is what I was looking for at Target that they I wasn't finding another. This one has um, sort of a waffle texture to it, like a thermal texture. I really like it. <clears throat> I was looking at um, Target for some that were solids that could pair with those leggings since the leggings were already patterned. Just wasn't finding them. This I thought was so precious with black leggings. How stinking cute, like a little jean jacket. So I had to get that, and then I also saw this and thought, oh, she will love this, that it's pink. Same idea, just sort of like a little, fun little Halloween-y kind of shirt. And then for myself, so this is a color <laughs> I would never normally buy. It is this super, super bright lime green kind of color, like a lemony, lemon lime. I don't know exactly what to call it. But it was on sale on clearance. And this is one of the colors in my autumn palette. And I keep seeing other autumns who share their style picks on Instagram pairing this color with navy blue in the fall and specifically with like navy blue leggings. And it's just such a cute look. This goes with that so well. I've really done a whole lot of the moss greens and the teal blues in my like autumn world. But I want to lean into some of the colors that I don't have in my wardrobe yet. Um, and this is one of them. So I grabbed that. I think it's, no, it's not part of the athletic range, but it's sort of like a shorter cropped tee, which I like because I like to do a little front tuck, so I don't like when they're super long. And then this one is another one in my autumn palette. Um, and this, the fabric is super interesting. It's like a ribbed fabric. Um, and this color in the autumn palette is called Rosewood, and it's a really deep, dusty kind of pink. This is probably a little bit pinker than the actual rosewood, but I think it's it harmonizes really well with the autumn palette. And I got this in an XXL, which I normally in tops wear large, but I wanted it to be, I was thinking like an oversized fit would be comfortable to wear with leggings was kind of my thought, because um, it has that super soft texture. So those are the two things that I got from, um, from Old Navy. My kids are crying out the door. Riley's with them now. Um, and friends are texting me. Okay. And then at TJ Maxx, I haven't been to a TJ Maxx and truly shopped and like looked through the racks in at least five to 10 years. As I was going through, I was thinking, I never do this. Um, and I used to absolutely hate it because I found it so overwhelming. But going back to the autumn colors, ever since I got my colors done and I know what colors look best on me, I, it's so easy because three quarters of the colors, I'm like, no, that's not gonna work. And I can just swipe through them. And then the ones that stand out, I, it was just like such a fun experience. I also was in a shopping mood, which definitely helps. So this was on clearance and I, this is a really pretty. So this color has like a dark teal and then what we call, which is called Kingfisher in autumn and then like what they call oyster. Um, an ivory. So it was on clearance and I thought it was just a cute top with some jeans. It has like a little ruching detail. I didn't try any of this on because I didn't have time. So I'll either love it or return it. Um, and then this is, this was also on clearance mustard yellow, obviously in the autumn, autumn palette. I liked it cause it's a kind of cropped. Um, so I thought that would be super cute. Like on the way to the gym in the mornings as they get chilly or something like that. And then this is the last one I got, um, and it is was also on clearance. Everything was on clearance. I was having the time of my life. All these things I got, I just felt like I wasn't paying very much money for them at all. Um, and this is like a really pretty knit texture. I really like it. It's like that fine, really soft kind of feeling, um, almost like silky. And it's a bat wing sleeve, which I really like. I really like wearing, it's kind of drapey. So I thought this would be super cute with um, jeans in the fall as well. I don't know any of these brands. And then this one, I, I mean, 
it was 10 bucks. I just wanted a shirt to wear to these Cowboys football parties that we keep hosting and then another family is hosting this coming Sunday and we're going to it. And I never, I've just been wearing Riley's shirts but it's like hard to make that look cute. I'm like tying, like it just, anyway. So this is just like a women's cowboy shirt. I'm really a Baltimore Ravens fan. That's where I grew up. Um, but as long as the Ravens aren't playing the Cowboys, I can be a Cowboys fan for these parties that we've been doing. So anyway, I just grabbed this. Um, this is like fully not in the autumn palette, but obviously it's not about that. It's just, just trying to be festive. I love to be festive. So like we got mustard yellow for the autumn. We got orange. We got the teal. We got the rosewood. We got this like lemony limey kind of color. I mean like how fun. Um, and that's everything that I bought. And then in the mail today, I got something I'm so excited to share with you. Um, so, so, so excited. So my friend Sally just started this shop online and it's called the Magical Pixie Shop. And she asked if she could mail me. She makes these belt bags. And let me show you. It's so stinking cute. This is totally that rosewood color. I stinking love it. And she like puts the pearls on. Oh my gosh, so, so, so cute. So. Let's see what the inside, oh, I like that the inside's black. That's kind of fun. So the inside is black, and then there's also a zipper on the back here. And then let's see what else. There's a buckle here. So let's loosen it. And try it on. Oh my gosh, in Disney, this would be so cute. Wouldn't that be cute and fun to wear around Disney World? I love belt bags because you can like sling them around your back. You can put them on your front or you can wear them as a fanny pack. And like, that is just so fun. I love that so much. Thank you so much, Sally. She left me this little note, um, which is really sweet. And she said, Blair, I hope you love my product enough to share it with your followers. Thank you for the opportunity. I created a discount code for you to share, which is Blair10. So I will link her shop below, the Magical Pixie Shop. If you want to go check it out and support another small business, especially if you're heading to Disney soon and you need like a belt bag so useful for getting on and off the rides and everything, make sure you use Blair10. You can save 10% at checkout. So there's my big old haul for today. We've got all these fun things. I'm going to go show my kids all of the little shirts and stuff that I got them, um, both at Target and then at Old Navy, and they're gonna be so excited. And then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm such a mess. Thank you for being here with me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning and happy Friday. Yes, it's Friday. I don't think I filmed anything yesterday. It was not a bad day. It was just a hard day. This whole week has been hard. I have heard a lot of moms say that right before a child has his or her birthday and gets another year older that's like that month before is when their behavior is the most difficult I don't I always was like that makes no sense why would that be but in my experience this year I I mean I'm definitely thinking that that is correct <laughs> we went to the Explorium yesterday it was super fun and then we went and got lunch and then came home and then I went to get an oil change and while I was getting my oil change oil changed there was a um, nail in my tire that couldn't be patched, and so they had to order the tire. So I just got back from going to the mechanic again today for them to change the tire out. So it's just been kind of a long week. <clears throat> I haven't eaten yet today, so I, but it's lunchtime now. So I stopped by Starbucks and got an iced tea, lemonade, um, and then one of these cheese and fruit boxes, both of which I really love. And so I have Colin in the car with me. I dropped Nora off. She hung out with Riley while <clears throat> I went and got the tire changed. So I'm going to go inside and sit at Riley's desk, hopefully while he plays with the kids so I can eat some lunch real quick, and then we'll, we'll start the second half of the day. <laughs> this vlog. I'm trying, y'all. This is why I stopped weekly vlogging for so long, because these weeks are just really hard, and they require so much of me, and I just don't have a lot left to give, and narrating my days aren't always, you know, isn't always, like, totally possible. But I try. I'm here, and I'm trying, so that counts for something. All right, Kali, you want to go inside? Oh, he's falling asleep.
Oh, we're about to drive around. Then I'll eat lunch in my car in peace while he takes a nap. Dreams. Well, hello, hello. It's a Friday night at 8.12 and I am obviously up at my office. I normally don't work up here at this time of night on a Friday especially, but <clears throat> I had a mentorship meeting with a woman who lives in Australia and so we had to find a time that was not a ridiculous time that would work for both of us. So 6 p.m. my time, which is when we met, was 9 a.m. her time tomorrow. And so those are like 6 p.m. and 9 a.m., like very reasonable times. Originally when we were trying to find times, we were like, one of us was at 2 a.m. and we were like, that's not gonna work. So anyway, we had a great session. Um, and then I just packaged up a bunch of orders and just ran through some different things online, answered some customer questions, just all of my normal work stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and head home. I just got this shirt. It's just off of Amazon and it's just like a, Chocolate brown, it comes in a variety of colors like almost everything on Amazon does, but it's just like chocolate brown. It just has this really pretty sleeve detail and I really, really like it. Um, it's very comfortable and very soft and it's just nice to like be, feel comfortable, but also have just like a little something. So I'll link it below if you're interested. Um, also with my shop, Blair Lamb Design, I am running an amazing sale right now where you can get 25% off and free shipping. So I will put the coupon codes linked below, but you aren't going to want to miss that because I am trying to clear out some of this fall and autumn and Halloween inventory. I know it seems early to be clearing it out, but we have all kinds of Christmas and holiday and winter inventory coming in and that we've got to make room for that so trying to clear things out so we have enough room to bring you know out with the old even though it's still new and in with the newer or whatever but anyway i'm going to wrap this vlog up here as always if you want day to day in real time day in the lifestyle updates you can always subscribe to me on instagram it's 4.99 a month for that exclusive level of content i absolutely love the group of women that i have on there so if you'd like to join us you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I will definitely see you next Sunday, if not sooner. And I hope you have a really awesome week. And that's all I have to say. Bye, guys.